right in. The magenta, of course, is what he always picks. It is terror. And then the yellow. It is dandy. Dude, yellow looks sick on this map. Does it? It's a yellow map. It's like a yellow orange map. Really hard to kind of see uh, Dandy's units, but it looks like they are not on top versus bottom. Both players are going to be yellow if we do the shift tab maneuver. So we'll have to pay extra close attention to the mini map. Now, I have to admit, I don't think I've ever seen a TVT on this map. Have you, Mihai? I don't think I've ever seen this map. <laughs> it's, <laughs> no. it's rarely played that's for well, sure I, no i'm just kidding i did watch the the asl season where it was played but i must have skipped most of the games i mean this map is pretty dope though like you said it's like outsider so you can ex because you can expand in the back i don't know i i'm guessing starport is better here yeah i was thinking you know, there is a ledge over your natural. There, you can land tanks and stuff on the high ground. So I was thinking that drops, like a tank vulture, tank goliath drop, could be extra deadly. You can just siege the natural. But because I haven't seen this map really ever, especially in TVT, not too sure how viable that actually is. Now we have to point out that this is Gold Rush where they have the assimilators or the gas to kind of deny pathways uh, I, i'm not i'm thinking that's not really going to come into play in a tvt but we could see that looks like dandy's already going to be using this mineral mineral to try and scout to the top left side or to the top middle it is not going to be for a fast hidden base he is going for 12 gas in his main uh I'm watching uh, Aerodor in the chat talk about Warcraft 2 strategies and how <laughs> humans are better on island maps. And I'm just thinking to myself, wow, another boomer. <laughs> <laughs> talking about some more fossil strats. Imagine how insane island... Well, actually, because in, War <laughs> in Warcraft 2 you have boats, so like island maps make more sense. It's like part of the game. Not like in... <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I'm... played Warcraft 2 in so long that I actually forgot about all this. Dude, it's there's both, Actually, man, it. you, know, you know how I actually got into StarCraft? Like I said, I used to play Warcraft every day. That was I loved that game. I went to my friend's house. He had StarCraft. I was watching it. I was like, wow, I've this... I've heard this. Yeah. Look, yeah, you've heard this. It looks similar to Warcraft, but it's not Warcraft. And I asked him, what is this game? Literally, I called my grandma to come pick me up early from his house. Like, I was only 12 years old. And while we were in the car, I was like, can we go to Best Buy and buy this? And she said, why? It, it, can't you just wait until Christmas? No, I could not wait until Christmas. <laughs> so I spent all my money, literally all my money when I was 12 years old, bought it in October 1998, and I never played Warcraft 2 again. It was just Brood War all the way. Well, not even Brood War. It was just StarCraft all the way, baby. Dude, how much were games back then? Were they still like $50 or whatever? I don't know, but I do know that I was broke afterwards. Back then, I was only playing Magic and uh, and, and StarCraft. Yeah, you had Magic cards. Heck yeah, I had Magic cards. Not yeah, I'm not one of those rich guys that have probably have to and beta cards. sell them no, out no, to no. buy Brood War. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I might have. <laughs> Go to the store. Like I really need to trade in these cards. I got to buy this video game. <laughs> 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 that sounds like Naokin if I've ever heard of him, dude. Yeah, Dandy coming in here with the early vulture, and uh, it will delay the command center a bit. But Terror did go for the tank there, and he actually is going for a second factory, so it looks like he is going to play for maybe more of the ground game, which is surprising, of course, on this map. You can kind of opt to the other expansions, but I mean, you still have this natural base, which is outside of your main base and kind of connected to the middle of the map. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea, man. Like, this map, this should be interesting for TVT. The, the one thing I would suspect is that just dropships will come into play much earlier than any other map, really. I, I don't know what else would change. 
Well, I'm looking at the chat right now. I have to point out that Dandy did not two port rate this game either, Mean Hi. They have not they have not forgotten about your prediction. So far it looks like pretty much the same build. Sure, Dandy opened up with a fast vulture, but now he's going into tanks and vultures himself. Now that factory is very close to the ramp. I'm wondering if he lands this Rax, does it wall off the bottom factory which pumps out all the tanks? And you can win games because yeah. of that. And it looks like that might be what Terra is going for because this is two tanks moving out. It looks like now with that second tank being out, I, I guess the Rax is not oh. there in time. And Terra's gotta be careful because he's quite extended. I think Andy can moving shot kill these tanks. Yeah, they're oh, both going for mirror builds actually. And Dandy just had so many tanks on, oh, so many shots on top of that tank before anything really happened. But Terra does trade the tank for two vultures. Now obviously that's a good trade for Dandy. Uh, looks like Starport behind this. You don't see two factory Starport very often, though I do like it on this map. Uh, the thing is, if you start getting into drops really early, like before your third base, it can be risky, but specifically on this map, because there are pseudo island bases to take, it makes much more sense than on most land maps. So if either player starts their dropship production off of three or four factories, I would not be surprised. It seems like intuitively the move to do on this map. I do like how both players are mining up the uh, map with vultures. <laughs> of course, what else would they be mining them up with? Uh, but this is a really solid play early on. They're both actually playing quite well this early game. But again, Gold Rush, it just the dynamic changes because of these uh, tucked away bases on the side there. So. Really, I'm not too sure what to expect. Control tower coming up for Terror, and because it's only one starport, you would suspect that he's actually going to start dropship production. But is 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 that a rate? Like he he only has two factories, Nyokin. Yeah, that is going to be a wraith, and I don't think Terror saw the starport. So this dropship may get shut down if he can get out two or three wraiths. One wraith, not going to be able to deny the dropship from getting in. And I think that this could even be a Goliath drop like what we saw Dandy pull out last game. Now, I love the usage of mines from Terra. He's one of the few Terran players that really makes sure he will lay all of his mines everywhere. Now we do see that Terra is moving around the bottom side of the map with tanks and vultures, and those tanks can fit through the assimilator. Yeah. And Dandy is completely out of position. And like you said, there's only two factories. So it's not like he can pump out a ton of units all at once. And this is going to be, I think, Dandy f just flat out forgetting how Gold Rush is laid out. And Terror might just be able to siege the mineral line. Terror is so well prepared, man. Like, uh, for sure, he's played a couple games on this map in preparation. He has a specific idea that he wants to execute. And he is successfully pulling Dandy out of his comfort zone by picking this map. So I, if he wins right here, I mean, the reality is though, Dandy can hold on. It does compromise half his main base, which is obviously terrible for Dandy, but oh, no. I, I don't know if he's gonna straight up end the game with this and he's not gonna have access to the mineral line. So maybe if Dandy is quick enough to reposition some tanks, he does have three tanks coming into his main, but they're really far behind and Dan or Terra is making his way into the base. The tank's still not quite in range. Really, Dandy needs to make sure that he, he can still mine. If he can still mine from his main base, this attack from Terra is not that big of a deal. Yeah, but it's always a feels bad moment to know you have to consistently just defend this part of the of the map. It doesn't even help you get another base. It would be different if he was defending the side while also taking bottom middle. Now Terra can take bottom middle and put pressure on the main. So this is a really nice move from Terra. This dropship is moving along the top side of the map. Uh, Dandy did clear out those eggs, so he can easily get up to top left and defend there. But Terra is going to, I think, unload maybe a couple of vultures. Looks like there's a bunker already set up. Yes, yeah, so this isn't going to do anything. But 10 supply lead for Terra. I was trying to see if I saw an armory spinning anywhere. It doesn't look like Dandy's is spinning at top left. It doesn't look like that was spinning either. So again, both players not really upgrading their, their units that quickly. Terra's uh, in trouble, man. I mean, he has to make this attack work here. That is only four tanks. If t 
Terror has more supply because he's on two base, pumping units non-stop. And that would be nice if he had kept his dropship alive because then he's also representing like some kind of doom drop off two base, but it died. So now this is his last hurrah. He has to do a lot of damage with this or else Dandy is on three base and stable. This is so many units coming through here. I guess you wouldn't expect this if you're Dandy. You're like, what the hell? Your entire army is here. But Terra is going to get access to the mineral line that we were talking about how important it is to deny and uh, if he gets even further up he might even siege in, in range of Danny's production which would be game over but it looks like Terra not quite controlling his units uh, cleanly enough to get really into position before Danny gets there though he still has more units than Danny Danny also wraith. knows what is going on the wraith from Terra will eventually push back these tanks if Danny does not build his own wraith or does not build a, a goliath but uh, this is going to be so close Nyokin I think this is, well, it's, it's not over because behind this, Terror still does not have a third base. So even though this has been denied, Dandy is still basically mining evenly. He, well, a little bit better than even because at least he has his third gas up and running. So he can afford expensive units out of all of these factories. Starport is building Wraith. However, there's two Wraiths now for Terror. So Terror should be able to pop Wraith as they pump out. But Dandy is able to pump out so many tanks and Goliath, and I think he may barely have enough to bust through if he was to pull some SCVs. You can see that Terra is scrambling to get more units over there to make sure he can contain his opponent. Cloak is even being upgraded for him, so still no third base for him. I think a command center is building in his main. It looks like he's gonna probably take, well, I guess one of the mid right bases. I don't think he's gonna take the mineral only. That doesn't really help him that much, but I'm surprised he hasn't taken bottom middle also. Nah, Terror is all in here. Like, he, he wants to make this work. He knows how bad of a position he is, because of course he scouted the third base really early on. Uh, but it looks like Dandy actually has a siege line. You know, it's a shame because I I think Terror actually had more than enough to end the game there. He just didn't execute the push quite well enough. Like, a lot of his tanks kind of lagged behind uh, his main force. He didn't get into siege with all his tanks at the same time. And really, just a huge miss opp missed opportunity because if he had pushed into this main, he would have had access to the... Not only was he denying one base, but he would have had access to Dandy's production line. And now, I mean, he's down a whole base. And not just a whole base, but he's been down a whole base for like several minutes at this point. Dandy is up to like seven factories. Terror still struggling on his four factory production. And uh, yeah, I mean, what base does da does Terror attack, or does he just sit back and try and play a macro game from behind? I mean, this this map is huge. You know, Terror could take it to late game if he wanted to, but he would be fighting an uphill battle the entire way there. Well, what this, like I said, what this does do is it forces all of the units of Dandy to respect potential, you know, a backstab into the main, and that means he's got to put a lot of defense there. So with Terror being up 20 supply and not having to put as much pressure at the bottom side as Dandy has to defend, like look how many tanks there are, plus Goliaths in comparison to what Terror actually has. There's no defense for Dandy at the front. This should easily get run over. But it looks like Terror is having second thoughts. He's not just pulling the trigger there. He's instead sieging up and not attacking. Doesn't quite recognize how much of Dandy's units are defending his main base. And Terra does have a base. Okay, so I didn't notice this mid right base. So he is double expanding. That could be a way of getting back into the game. And you no, know, surprisingly, actually, he is still ahead in supply here, despite the fact that Dandy has had the third base for a really long time. I, I don't quite understand how that's happening, though Terra does not have any upgrades, and Dandy does have plus one. So plus two should be on its way at some point. But it looks like kind of a, a repeat from last game where. Terror is really forsaken, he's like forsaken his infrastructure in favor of trying some really, really hardcore mid-game aggression, but Dandy is just defending well enough where, I mean, he's not dead, so <laughs> triple starport. Well, regardless of whether Terror goes for it or not, this is a good move because now he has map control over the center of the map, and now yeah. he can lay tons of mines. He's the one with the contain. I'm getting flashbacks to the Sylphid game where it looked like he was going to have a massive contain on that map. Also, three Starport Wraith will be interesting because I don't think Dandy has scanned it either. 
you can see that he is trying to get a turret up in time to make sure that these tanks end up not dying. Maybe some racer are going to try and scramble over there. I think that would be very... Yeah, they are going to move over there. And that is going to allow Terra to keep pressure on this side of the map. And it looks like Dandy needs to do something pretty soon. Otherwise, not only is there going to be contained, it's going to be a, an arc contained. Where, okay, he is busting out right now. Oh, he's busting out, yeah, uh, towards the middle of the map. But, oh, this angle, though, there's not too many tanks from Terra. And again, he, you know, Terra has to focus these oh, tanks no. down, not, so not miss shots on the Vultures. The Vultures do come in time. Uh, Terra didn't actually pull the trigger there. Maybe he could have gotten on top of those tanks, but I mean, I understand that decision there. There's just so many tanks and his own tanks weren't quite in range. So Dandy does punch a hole through this contain, which is going to be really beneficial for him because he's going to be able to start expanding to, you know, if he, if he pushes this hole even harder, he can open up a path to maybe 12 o'clock. But you're right, Naokin. I mean, Terra definitely has a really nice solid position on the map and it looks like dandy's fast third base just hasn't paid off you know like you would expect dandy to be in a much better position given what happened in the mid game uh but uh it looks like he's struggling and all of a sudden i don't i don't know man i think we have to go back to the dojo or something you have to like teach me something about this matchup because i i just don't understand uh, how Terra gets back into these games. Jeez, this is so many units from Dandy right now, and I think he realizes that he's got the over... Oh, he is not going to move into that. I thought he was going to, because there's so many vultures on the right side, but I guess that's just a little bit too many tanks for him to be feeling confident. He's starting to build up dropships, and dropships can be good if they go unscouted, but with so many race... I don't think that's going to happen, and I, you know, more often than not, you don't load up that many Goli uh, Goliaths into dropships. So even if they unload, I think they're probably going to get overrun by all these wraiths. So I think this will be a big supply swing if Dandy ends up going for a Doom drop somewhere. I am surprised that Dandy was able to get this, mm, get map control to take this fourth base, because that's crucial for him. Because as you said, third base has been mining for so long, it's approaching 20 minutes. I think it's going to start mining out pretty soon. So he definitely needed to start thinking about getting another base. Looks like a drop is going to try and get to the right side. And Goliath like how, is going to try and you, save it. I like how Terror is actually defending with only two raids. Like he, he wants to desperately hide the fact that he has a bunch of raids. But at this point, because these three Goliaths unload, I think he is going to have to show his hand here a bit prematurely almost because you would want these wraiths to trade against the main army but look at look at dandy's upgrades he has double armor going he has plating i don't actually think terror will have any uh, air upgrades no he does not so these wraiths are actually very very inefficient against the plating and if ever dandy gets the plus two then i mean his units are never gonna die to just wraiths so the upgrades are looking so, so, so good for Dandy. Again, reaching that plus two attack threshold. He might look to attack soon. Terra does not have plus one, but he does have a, so many tanks that it's almost... I mean, obviously plus two would help, oh. but like... I'm look not sure if Dandy can bust through. Look at the bottom side of this middle. Oh, you don't need to bust through if there's no defense there. There's only three to tanks really within range of taking shots under these tanks but instead it looks like dandy wants to go for the for the gold he's going straight through the bottom side and the center it looks like there's a few tanks just barely out of range for terror and now terror actually needs to re-situate all of his tanks at the top side otherwise he's going to be the one getting contained and as you stated these race with no upgrades really don't do much damage to goliaths or tanks at all and he's getting run over yeah, okay, so Dandy finally pulling the killing move. I mean, he was significantly ahead in the mid game. It's kind of surprising that Terror got into such a sick position, but I mean, still, like, Dandy's only on three base. Terra's on uh, way more bases, so maybe if Terra stabilizes again, the upgrades are a huge problem for him because now he's kind of pigeonholed into continuously making raids that don't have upgrades, and the situation is only going to get worse because unless he has triple armory, Basically, Dandy will start ramping up that plating uh, upgrade, and these wraiths will be completely worthless. They already trade poorly versus Goliath. 
Well, this looked like it was going to be a lot of units for Dandy, but that's a lot of tanks. And I don't think really Dandy's going to kill much at all. Instead, he's just going to at least free up pressure in the center of the map to allow him to get his mineral only and possibly that bottom left base. Top, that top middle center base has also been landed, so he's going to get his fourth gas up and running. Meanwhile, Terra has started to take the top side of the map, and I'm just doing a count on how many bases Terra actually has. He has six bases with yeah. five gas, so an, a ridiculous amount of gas income for him, but Dandy's the one that just has better map uh, presence, I, I think, right now. Also, of course, the upgrades. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see uh, if uh, Dandy can... I mean, the, the thing is, though, his army is so much stronger. Like, he has 2-2, two, two, and even though Terror has a stronger economy, a lot of that surplus economy is getting invested into totally worthless units at this point, which is the rates. Like, they just cannot do anything against this upgrade disadvantage. And it looks like Terror is adding control towers. This, to me, looks like he's going to transition into dropships, which, make a lot of uh -oh. which makes a lot of sense on this map. Top middle's dead. And with top middle going down, sure, Terror has those six bases, but if you look at what else can he take, it's really only that bottom middle base that he can take. Sure, that would give him seven bases, but Dandy would have access to the rest, and I'm taking account here that would put... If Dandy was to get the rest other than the bottom middle one, it'd be eight base versus seven. Now, this move, I'm a bit surprised that Dandy's ending up going to the right side, but I guess there's literally no defense here that he's easily going to run this over, and he can still take over top middle. Yeah, Dandy is... He can see the starports now. Yeah. You can see that mineral line. Yeah, I mean, he's he's like in such a... He's slowly but surely converting his advantage into a, a win here. Though, Terra does still have a lot of mining bases, so he can still play this game out. He is at a severe disadvantage. I wonder... I'm wondering, is he catching up in upgrades anytime now? No, Dandy actually is the one that has dropships as well. Well, it looks like Terra does have plus two, so not quite as disadvantaged as he was. Um, though in this ground fight, if the units just sit there and attack each other, planning does matter, but there's just way more units for Terra in this particular engagement, thanks to his higher dropship count. He's going to be able to secure this base, but it's not mining, and this attack from Dandy is still out on the map and he's just gonna go across like through the back here basically using terrorist tactic against him and he's gonna threaten this uh, the main base really i don't know if those tanks could siege the mineral line of the adjacent base the adjacent mining base but definitely oh is that a physics lab is terror actually making value yeah. he's going bcs right now so if he can get three of them out he will be able to push this back but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Maybe he can get out too. Cause, oh, he wasn't building PCs because those have stopped blinking. And that's going to be a, a first one starport at least gone. A bunch of depots gone. Academy gone. So potentially Scan will be unavailable. And maybe Cloak Race Switch from Dandy could come in at some point. I, I doubt that. But it's possible. Regardless, Dandy has put immense pressure back on to Terra. Now Terra is going for a drop himself onto this top middle base, and this is going to be denied. <laughs> yeah, this game's going crazy, man, and... Has Terra done it, man? Dandy actually does not have oh, any mining up again, and Terra's consistently focus fired, so I think he's going to kill all these tanks pretty cost-effectively. Yeah. Oh, he, he needs to babysit. He has plus two, he can two-shot these tanks, he needs to just babysit these tanks and make sure they focus fire down the tanks. But Dandy, he's on one base, dude. This is the only base he's got. <laughs> yeah, you can see that Dandy's trying to take that top right nat base. The race have been doing work for, for, for Terror, but the scan is finally going to take out the last single Wraith. And now this base has been cleaned up. The biggest thing for Terror right now... Not mining, he's, dude! He's permanently supply blocked. He's permanently supply block. And Danny's going to come and see top middle. He's be like, oh, this base is up here? I didn't even know that. Oh, my God. Dude, Danny's straight up not mining Yeah, he's not right mining. Now. He's not mining. Yeah, he's actually... Has... <laughs> he's going to lose all he's of his SCVs. He's the top right. Now Terra knows the build is the, the, the base is there. Here come the vultures. Uh, and this attack from Danny is cleaned up. If Dandy needs to unseach his units and go top, 
to the top right away and secure an extra base I, or I else this game's over. He's trying to just end the game. I, I think he's realized that he's not mining, so he's got to go for it. And that's exactly what's going on. There's players. so many tanks, and Terra consistently has been focus firing. Look at that tank line. Oh it's my huge. God. His supplies plummet. Went from even down to sub 100. So this is going to be it. Terror with the power of Bob Malcolm. He is going to take down Dandy 2 to 1. What even happened this game? I don't even know because I thought Dandy's counterattack to the main was going to actually just get him a victory because it was going to open up the top side of the map for him completely. But he just never moved up there. In this base at top middle, sure, it doesn't have a lot of SCVs, but it's mining gas at least. I mean, this game's over. That's it. You know? Yeah, there's just too much. Dandy. I, you see a lot of players make this mistake where it's like they're just overly aggressive instead of just securing extra mining bases and out of nowhere like terror hit the only mining base Danny had left now he I mean now he's reestablished that mining but the thing that terror has done better than Dan like terror honestly has just out macro Danny this game like he has just played a better kind of long-term game terror expands more he tries to play to the map more he's not as aggressive with the positions he takes and Dandy instead, when he takes a small advantage, he tries to ram that straight into your face and end the game there instead of kind of securing the late game for himself. Now, he still has good upgrades, but at this point, one base mining against basically two to three uh, from Terror is a huge hurdle to overcome. I mean, Terror has so many... It has such a stronger this is, economy. This is done. I'm looking at the Nat for Terror. It's not even mined out either, so he could really yeah. mine that also. A Goliath drop. Well, that's gonna get cleaned up because, of course, there's 500 mines here. Well, I guess it doesn't get cleaned up, but really, he doesn't care that much. He could just send some reinforcing units. Yeah, yeah, there they go. And wow, this oh, 16 <laughs> kills on a Goliath. How does that happen? Oh, that's because it has plus that's three plus armor. Three, yeah. The SCVs just do no damage. Or plus two. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was that was good. That one Goliath for Dandy basically wiped an entire an entire base from Terror, but I think Terror is just going to spam build SCVs at that base and resaturate it slowly but surely. Now Dandy does secure this mineral only. He's not mining gas, but he does have a, a surplus of gas. Now I would like to see some I would like to see vessels being used if you're not using dropships. I mean, you know, vessels are really strong in this matchup for D Matrix, but also for spawning mines. Uh, but of course most of these players, I mean they've been making drops and raids the whole time, so you know it makes sense. Uh, it looks like Dandy is going to load up a couple drops. Now, how does Dandy get back into this game, you think? He's not he wasn't mining gas. Like you said, he's on well, he has three other gas bases that are mined out, so really he's basically on two gas. So he can build a decent amount of tanks. This is one way to get back into it, is slowly elevate her onto the ledge and deny this base. Uh, yeah, okay, Terra realizes that he cannot let this happen, so he's sending everything up there. I hope there's stuff in that dropship. Okay, there is. So with this drop unloading, I think this is going to be basically the end of dandy because now he can siege i think he can siege the mineral line from the top side maybe maybe he can't siege the mineral line but he can siege that that choke and then slowly elevate her down onto the low ground okay now he's gonna just he's just gonna unload behind the minerals and that's one way to sh shut this down of course yeah well again i mean at this point dandy does have another mining base but he is gonna be deprived of this additional gas the drop coming in here these tanks are already sieged though uh but you know honestly dropping on siege tanks sounds like a good idea but it's it almost never is so it does clean it up uh you know dandy will still be able to mine here i mean just looking at this game is there a world where terror loses this and how does that reality like how does that reality look the reality is dandy slowly Elevators top middle. Uh, that's, I mean, that's he's the still only making way. rates, and they're not very good versus plus. Yeah, but they deny dropships. Right. And dropships are flying around. 
I don't even think that this base matters to Terra. It's been mined so well. It does have a decent amount of minerals. But how do you get a command center there? He's still got to clear those tanks on the left side that have been sitting there since the five minute mark. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is a possibility. At least it is a full base. If he gets this base, it also allows him to get that base right above it, which has gas and minerals. So he would have two more gas bases available. And then Terra really only has top right. So I guess that's possible, but it doesn't look like it because Terra again is just moving Oh my in. God, dude, Dandy completely yeah. smashing all these units. Is he doing yeah, it? What happened? Too much. I, this said 170 a minute ago for Terra. Now it says 139 to 100. He didn't even lose a tank. Didn't even lose a tank. I'm telling you, man, in making okay. those wraiths is literally yeah, it's worthless. Not, yeah, wraiths are not good. The vessels, of course, were obbing, so we know this. Vessels. No, I mean, he needs to just make drops and keep making ground units, you know? I mean, yeah, obviously, of course, it's easier when we're obbing, but, uh, you know, the plate, like, like, he knows, like, he knows Dandy has good plating uh, upgrades, and he doesn't have air upgrades himself, I don't Did think. Did he find or... a hole? Did he find a hole up here? Oh, uh, if he has full drops, if he has Goliaths in there, he does have one, two, three. That's enough. Yeah, four Goliaths. Oh, I don't think he it's needs enough. To scan, There's he also needs to scan. SCVs. Yeah, he's got SCVs in it. I think one of the tanks in the back ended up dealing a decent chunk of damage onto these Look at Goliaths. Those Goliaths. Well, it, it pushes them back, and the drops yeah, are the alive. Is, he's, if, he's killing the SCVs, man. Who cares? Okay. Now Terra's not mining. Dandy's mining. Okay, t okay. <laughs> I, I got, I got to take it back. Because I hate when commentators preemptively call GG, but I feel like I've already done it because Dandy is going to deny this base if he can continue to drop up here. Well, we'll see because now Terra comes in with oh, his no! own drops. Oh, <laughs> no! They go down. Terra comes in with his own drops. He will re... I mean, he'll defend his base. Now we have to see where Dandy goes with his next drop. Looks like it's going to mid-right. Is that a good attack option? Yes, it is still a mining base. So if he denies this, he that's going to be huge. The main. He can drop the main. Yeah, he can he actually drop the main, but he's not going to. He's well. going to deny this base. This is fine. Look at look at bottom left. He's starting to take that base. That gives him another gas. So now he has three depleted gas. He'll have two full gas, basically. So he, it's going to be like he's mining three gases. That's, that's manageable for Terran and TBT. Terran, I'm looking at what he has for gas mining. He has top, middle, and mid right now. So he's only on two gas, but you got to mine it. And he has no money, like you said. He has 50 minerals. Yeah, that's it, man. I mean, why? Terra needed to be making I'm drops losing my this mind. whole time, dude. Like, I think Dandy The, the problem now. is, yeah, he... <laughs> Dandy has most definitely... I Dandy's, don't know, dude. Dandy's I'm, I'm not going to call this game anymore. Dandy, dude, Dandy's cares? mining yeah, but Dandy's just get all, all. Dandy's just one attack away from throwing the game, dude. Yeah, like, uh, of course, it's TVT where you're attacking it into plus two weapon, where you, you can lose your army in an instant. We already saw that happen at Pot of Middle, and I'm thinking about how much supply. Like, like look at the supply: 166 to 140. We see five tanks at Pot of Middle. We see five tanks at Bottom Left. That's 20 supply. So those are that's that's wiped off of the supply for Terra. Yeah. Meanwhile, okay, I guess. I guess it's kind of even because there's four tanks and four Goliaths there. So really, it is still a 30 supply lead for Dandy. I thought it was more with all those tanks being dead weight down there. Looks like Terra's going to try and retake bottom left. I, I think this is a mandatory move for him, and he needs to just send everything at it. Make sure he gets rid of this army. But he's sending in the tanks first. Yeah, the tanks do go first, but he will be able to clean this up. Again, he needs to, like you said, he has just those four tanks like in the middle of... Uh, Africa basically just chilling. Not participating to the game since the yep. beginning. And Dandy does as well. <laughs> yeah, he's got those tanks over there too. So, okay, yeah, a lot of fair. dead supply. But as I said, we're Ooh. like, what's the SCV count for Terror? Because Dandy has SCVs. He's been mining that mineral only. He's been mining that top left base. It seems like Terror's SCV count is quite low. There's nine right there. Man, he's really not mining his gas in his main or not. I think that's okay. What's I crazy is Terra cool. has played this entire game with just four factories. Has he? Oh, no. Okay, mind. no, he has he six has factories. Six. Well, six is still... Yeah. I mean, it looks like... Uh, 
I just don't know how many times it's happened this game. I can where we're like, oh yeah, this player wins. This player wins. It's well, happened so many times this... that it's pretty obvious Danny's gonna win this game, but at this rate, he's not. Because we there's just gonna be a, that he is. There's gonna be a huge bust into the center of the map, and there's not that many tanks. And I did see dropships somewhere. I think they're at the top side. You can see Terra scrambling to get up to the top side of the map, but he's down 50 supply. He has no way to get up there. And hopefully he has factories up there. Otherwise, whatever is up there is all he's going to have to defend with, which is six tanks. That's a decent amount. But with yeah. vultures just, you know, running through the front and dropships dropping directly on your tanks, I don't think they're necessarily going to last very long. Yeah, and it's but six terror. tanks that are spread out, right? Like, it's not like they're focalized on one point, so you can just overload the flank, like the right side there, if you're dandy, and just clean it up eventually. But, I mean, you know, Terra's given... He's being given a chance to repopulate his mineral lines here. He is on three base. Dandy is now also on three base, though I'm suspecting that one of his bases is about to mine out. It is pretty even. The problem for Terra is that this game state kind of necessitates a high dropship count and Terra has just uh, it doesn't seem like he has been building dropships whereas Dandy still has you know six to seven drops which is really gonna help him I guess that's only four yeah, this, this is what I was waiting for is I think he could just bust the front but maybe not that's a ton of tanks regardless Terra needs to get about oh. four more tanks if he can get four more tanks to top middle I think he can hold for quite a long time. You can see that a lot of vultures. Oh okay, my he, God. He did, he did. And this is crucial because now it seems like the only way you can bust this base is to slowly creep from uh, the left side. He's still making rates, man. I, I really hope that, uh, can we check the air upgrades actually? Cause I really hope these rates have, okay, well he's starting getting plus one. Uh, he really needs to get those air upgrades for these rates to matter, especially against 3-2 Goliaths. I mean, they're in 3-2 Goliaths are insanely cost efficient. It's going to take another here like, yeah, here comes the he, bust he, here from Dandy. I, he's going to, he's going to, he's going to drop the main thing. He's going to get through. Oh, is he though? The drop ships don't unload, but there's still just so much Dandy, but you can see half of the army move to the top side because tanks have shot down on top of them. But what's the defense in Terra's main? The racer gets getting wrecked. Okay, there's going to be three tanks on the high ground. There's two more in the main. So I don't think Dandy's going to be able to push through. And killing all those dropships was critical for Terra because now Dandy cannot, you know, elevator into the top side. Supplies are still 20 supply lead for Dandy. But Terra, with top middle now running, with bottom middle now running, this, this is wild. This is one of the craziest TBTs I think I've ever seen. Aaron needs to stop making rates. They're so bad in this situation. He needs to just make drops and make a sick ground army and just play for the, for the bases. He still has more bases. He has more of the map. I mean, what's nice for Dandy is that he has this bottom left pocket base that's very important for him to evening out I... the map the control discrepancy. But if Terra can just chill and secure top right yeah. and then clear out mid right, but he needs drops and a bunch of units for that. These wraiths, wraiths are good if they're upgraded. By the time we have upgrades for these wraiths, it's going to be 40 something minutes. <laughs> I, I don't know. Drop. Oh, well, that's not what you want to see where Danny's getting desperate, unloading SCVs on top of tanks. And Terra's realized that he doesn't have to do anything. Yeah. Dandy will just run out of money. Yeah. He just needs yeah. to sit here, not lose to some type. Okay, well, as I say that, he's moving to the south side of the map. There's not that many tanks. However, I feel like that this, I mean, this is, is huge. Well, if he can deny this. Yeah, if he can deny the gas, that's great. Oh, well, he actually picked off the turret, so he's going to be able to pick off these tanks also. And it just. I'm watching the mini map, and Danny's just bouncing back and forth, but not able to actually get anywhere. Yeah, Dandy's not too sure what to do. Um, and, I mean, you can't really blame him because this bottom left base and this mid or uh, top right base are completely unassailable at this point, just given the fact that there's a bunch of turrets and tanks and stuff. 
But he has a huge army and he just hasn't been able to break through uh, any of the positions that Terra has. And He's focusing again. Yeah, every time he does, I mean, he does take a lot of losses here. You can see the supply evening out. But even if he gets mid-map control at this point, I mean, he could deny Terra's pocket right uh -oh, base. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. I don't know, man. Like, see, I told you. I told you. We were looking at this literally two minutes ago. <laughs> right? Oh, there's no way Dandy wins. And now it's very, it's becoming more clear that Terror is still in an advantageous position on the map, just given his map control. <laughs> now we're thinking, how does Dandy win? Because how does he kill any of these bases? Yeah, I don't think Dandy can really kill anything. <laughs> but but I, I have to say this, Terra did move all of his tanks from the mid-right position Valkyrie. down to the bottom middle. He has no upgrades, mid though. That mid-right base is exposed. Yeah, he has a BC, so... Well, he has money, and these races have really been not the best for, for Terra. He's lost a ton of resources. Sure, he did eliminate... The drop I mean, throughout this ship. game, like, honestly, if Terra had invested the resources just throughout this well, game. Well, well, he's been consistently very low on resources, so I don't necessarily... Well, no, but what I'm saying is, like, uh, you know, if he had drops instead and flying around with his massive army and map control advantage... Well, he, he did but, have drops, but, yeah. Well, in any case, I mean, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, you know, we're getting into that well, zone of this is, uh, this is what toxic I was casters. About. And, this and is by what we, I, I mean about. me. This, this. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's army, hear it. This army what were on the you right worried side. About? Well, if you look, there was only two tanks defending there. Yeah. And of course, we have full vision, so we know that. But Dandy doesn't know that. But top middle looks like you cannot bust it. This middle only is mined out. Top middle is mined out. Bottom left is the only base that's not mined out. There's four BCs. Dandy has a bank, and this BC count. If those are yeah. all BCs. Okay. I mean, I kind of like this from I'm Dandy, honestly. I'm, I'm losing it because... Okay, hear me out here. If yeah. Dandy sets up a tank line yeah. through the center of the map, yeah. how does Terror get to the top side with Goliath to defend these pieces? You know the race aren't going to do it because he only has like five. I mean, the reality is, like, once you get into these uh, stale positions where it's very... Impro like... The counter to Battlecruisers, right? Because Battlecruiser tank is the best composition because the Yamato, like Yamato in conjunction with the Siege tanks clears any Terran position out. Now, the problem that Terran players have into getting into Battlecruisers is one, Battlecruisers are really immobile. And two, you're very vulnerable while getting them. So... If one player is going Battlecruisers too early, he can die to like the other player just maxing out on ground army and A moving. But in this game state, where does Terror attack? So Dandy has time to get these Battlecruisers up. And not just that, he has time to get these upgrades. And top right still has that natural base there. The top right natural is is not mined at all. So And even the, the main base itself, there's so many resources. So if Dandy acts quick, and attacks this top base and takes it for himself, he can win the game. Okay. He is moving units up to the top side, and I think this is very critical because when he sees the BCs, he's gonna need a way to get Goliath to the top side of the map ASAP. The fact that Dandy has not cut this off still gives Terror a chance here. I don't think Terra has scanned the BC. Okay, he did just scan top left, and he saw that there were multiple add-ons and the physics lab, but he doesn't know where the BCs actually are. They were at mid-left. It looks like they're at the mineral. That is six BCs, I, I think. Don't know. This is so good for well, Dandy, well, man. Yeah, and guess what? Terra's maxed out, so he can't build any more anti-air right now. He's got yeah. one BC, though. He's and he has mostly BC. tank. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There was a game of nuts, Terra man. versus Koget on Blue Storm. It went split map, and Koget transitioned into BC before Terra did. And Terra had this same scenario where he had mass tank, but mass tank doesn't hit up. And then Koget just won because he had so many more BCs than Terra. 
And now we see sacked SCVs. That's gonna give even more supply to Dandy. He has 21 supply to work with. That can be three more BCs and one Valkyrie. And I think it's kind of crazy, what? like that wraiths can outrange tanks. Because you would, if the wraith is far up and it's capable of shooting down onto the tank, you'd expect a siege tank to be able to shoot the wraith. That is so many tanks. Well, bottom left's dead. Dandy's not going to be mining. Well, it's not dead because BCs are coming. But, well, this is... This is such... This is going to be such a big loss for, for Terror because there's so many tanks that are going to be lost here. But Dandy has no gas, so he can't build any more tanks after this, really. Yeah, the Valkyries are going to come wow. in. Well, the thing... You know what's nice about this, though? No. Is that Terra is pulling Dandy down to bottom left, so at least Dandy's not attacking top right. He has more time to build up his BCs now. That is true. He can build up BCs. It does buy him time to get mid right up and running. Two two upgrades for for Dandy. He's got four Valkyries. That means race aren't gonna deal any damage. Oh no. It's turret man, which is fine, but there's only two BCs. Dandy is completely gas broke now. I think bottom middle is the... It has just now been rebuilt. So he is going to have some influx of gas, but look at this. BCs, if he scans mid-right, I think mid-right's dead. Uh, well, he's just going to kill top middle. I mean, and, everything's dead if Dandy attacks. Yeah, uh, yeah, if Dandy attacks, every base should be but dead. He, the thing is, this takes a while. He needs to bring his uh, tanks as well to clear the turrets out. No, he might no, just aim through BCs. these turrets, though. Yeah. He's got BC. He's got 11 BCs with four Valkyries, or nine BCs. Yeah. Well, supply is high for Terror, so that means that he built a lot of something very quickly. I think that's got to be Goliath at the bottom. I'm hoping that's Goliath coming through the bottom side of the map. And Dandy did not move his tanks with these BCs. Yeah. So if this is BC versus Goliath, Terror oh, he's can just... win it. Why is he get? He should just go kill uh, Terra. Oh, he did move tanks. As well. What's that? One tank. One tank. Oh. Uh, the thing is, Dandy, like straight up, he's actually. He's got to go for it. He, he's got to go base. for it. This, this Terra has to go for this. He'll never find BCs this isolated ever again. And he is going to try and get some of these BCs. He might get one. Unfortunately, that eBay is more important, so that's going to fall down. But. Uh, I, I think that was a little bit know, slow on the gun for this Terror, is good but at for least, Terror, man. yeah, he saves top right. That's that's mandatory for him. <laughs> like that he has two bases mandatory. mining still. He yeah, has he's got three bases mining. mining still. He's, yeah, he still has it. He is building. He's up still his... mining bot. Okay, well, not really. He needs to transfer SVs. He also uh, has he's... a bunch of gas, dude. Yeah, he has. Oh, okay, Goliath's gonna take down one battle oh, cruiser. Oh, from downtown. A couple tanks. Yeah, from downtown. Steph Curry missiles right there, but that's eleven. Goli uh, 11 BC still left for Dandy. He has no gas. Look at this. He can't build any. Oh, wow. That is so many Goliaths. But because he lost all those tanks, there's no tanks to help fight in this, to help during this fight. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I actually think Terra has, <laughs> I think Terra has done it, man. Like, it, this no, no, has no, been well, so we're crazy. We're not back and done it anymore. I think he's got a good No, no, no. Yeah, I'm isolated. calling it now. Terra won this game. Won this game. More isolated BCs. That's a lot of Goliaths, but these tanks, this is four tanks. They deal a lot of damage. Goliaths are on top of the BCs. Wow, from all angles. Is Terra going to do it? There's only five BCs left. Yeah, I mean, Dandy's not mining behind this, and he has uh, no... Holy all, all his gas is depleted. Looks like Terra has done it, man. I told you, dude, that... I, I told, told you. told me? You yeah, told, told me? I, okay. I told you that attack at bottom left, it uh -huh. bought him so much time that this happened. Okay. That, that's, that's what did it. Well, he's got to get through these mines. In the he's 48, good. in the 50 minutes that we've been watching the game, that was the crucial deciding factor. Oh my gosh. This is by, this is definitely up there. It, it's got to be like top three games for me in PS. It has to be. It, I, I can't, I don't think I've ever seen a more epic game. Medino versus Cryok was very epic on Whiteout a couple seasons ago, but this this has to have surpassed it for me. I'm trying to even think of, has there ever been like a better TVZ, TVP, ZP game than this? I don't think so. 
You think this is gonna go down in DSL history as the most insane game ever played? It could. 50 minute slugfest between the two top Terran players in North Korea. Well, I can tell you, people watching this, when they if they play versus Terror, they will veto this map. I know they will do that. They won't let this go through and assume that he's not gonna pick it. I know that's gonna happen. Yeah, this, this yeah. went way longer <laughs> than I thought, and he's very good at it too because with the positioning at the bottom light, bottom left, taking the bases, repositioning, and stuff like that. But you gotta give props where props are due because Dandy in an actual unwinnable position brought it this close, and it's still not over. Terror, I still don't think, has transferred those SUEs at bottom left. Maybe he has, but it seems like he's got a decent econ now. But the, the, the BC, yeah, he did transfer him. The BC count is just too low. Tanks are not going to win the game for Dan. Yeah, this game's over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's actually over now. Dandy's not mining. He has 4k minerals bank, which, you know, technically if he sits around for another hour, he will mine the two per gas at the seated gas and eventually, like, spend the minerals on to, like, battle cruisers or something. Uh, but... I mean, Terra is going to have a fresh base to work with, and then he could even have the mineral only to work with. Now he's just going to go for Why? it. Why? Well, this is the only way I think Terra can lose the fight. Is I know. He, the thing is, he even has more yes, battle cruisers. Okay, he, has so more, he, can... he has more battle cruisers, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, that's it. He's done it. Is it hit, though? Yeah, is yeah, it yeah. hit? There's another BC coming in. Imagine if Terra had lost two BCs there somehow, and then it was three versus two. Yeah, but who cares? I mean, Terra has actual... Uh, <laughs> okay. he, he actually has gas that isn't depleted. At, like, top right now. He just has way too much... Uh, too many too many bases, so... Um, yeah, and that's... Dude, this is uh, gonna conclude... I mean, it's not concluded just yet. But uh, it will be concluded within the next 10 minutes. <laughs> no, well, definitely within the next 10 Like 100%. 140, it's not going to make it to one hour. 149 but, to 90 supply. Do you have any bets here, Nyokin, how long this game is going to be? I'm telling you, it's under one hour. No, no, no. <laughs> I, think, I think this is the last stand. I think there's too many PCs. There's one tank. There's one tank in a dream. Four BCs, let's go. Let's go. And I think with these BCs falling down, this should finally be the nail in the coffin. Also seeing that there's flat out more BCs for Terror. Terror is gonna take it. And Dandy taps out in probably the best BSL game I've ever seen.